I got a little present for you guys here in San Francisco. I'm sure all of you have heard about the Rally Thong. Now, I know this is a family event, but if you've seen Zoolander, I have a special talent just for you. Every team needs some levity, but the Giants' bearded bullpen ace goes beyond. I mean, they probably think that it's cruel to do. Whoa! Hey! What? What was that? That guy? Uh, that's the machine. The machine? Who is he? Is he a cousin of a gimp? Well, you know, when you're a young pop coming up, you have uh, meetings about media and controlling the media. I made this especially for you. You made that? Yeah, yeah, Mark, by the way. Dude, it's the best thing I've ever seen. Dealing with the media the past five years, I've learned to, you know, hone in on what kind of message I'd like to send, even if it's in a sailor's outfit. Give it up, everybody, for Brian Wilson! You think, oh, wow, here he goes again, just being crazy, or just being flipping smart. I don't know. There are a few folks out there that uh, did recognize me for few things you, uh, but for the most part are you bringing out the gimp that's the machine he uh, he says a lot my trigger points are different my brain waves work in a completely different pattern than a lot of people how would you relate your pitching to Chuck Norris well, Chuck Norris has been known to throw 100 mile an hour fastball I've been known to throw Chuck Norris 100 miles an hour <laughs> <laughs> if you love that <laughs> this is all on the spot too while the closer keeps his teammates laughing and loose, the man who keeps them on an even keel is the skipper, Bruce Bochy. It's my time to get away, you know, to reflect and think about the season. You get a chance to breathe out here. That's what I love to do. I hope the yeah. Sharks cooperate, they've been around. You're a marked man. This, this is the Giants, and those are the teams coming at you. Mm -hmm. That's all right. This is all I'm thinking about today. When I get back, my wheels will start turning as far as baseball. But I don't need therapy or anything, but this is sanctuary, so to speak, uh, for me before spring training. I got the uh, adrenaline going right now. That's a big fish. You get sort of used to the adrenal glands pumping. There's 50,000 fans going nuts. My job description is to come in and shut the game down. Well, in the off season, we get a little mild depression. You're like, I don't have anything on the line right now. So you create activities 
that uh, can be a little dangerous at times. Starting to get pissed off. Okay, Budge, get ready. Probably shouldn't be letting you know that. Dude, he's going to tear your ass up. <laughs> we have a fight on our hands. We know it's going to true. You've heard all about it. We're a target, and we accept that. <laughs> That's the 25 guys that we break camp with, I fight with every day. It works for that one, huh? So here's Freddie Sanchez, three-time All-Star, National League batting champion. Happy Valentine's Day. Are you a gloom? And a balloon. Oh, my goodness. That is massive. Thank you, Michael. Most of the time, the wives are raising the kids. And so when we are home, we have to take full advantage of, for me, it's being with my boys. You could do anything on this thing, man. Because, you know, these years go by so quick, you don't, you don't want to miss them. And when he's on the road, you are a single mom. I had originally said, I know this house is big enough to ride bikes in, but we're not going to be riding bikes and playing ball in the house. There you go. We've been together so long, and it's been so great. To our 16th Valentine's Day together. I remember when she was working two jobs and going to school, and sending me money to live on when I was in college. Come a long way. Thank you. Go ahead, baby. Valentine's Day is a little more special for us because February 14th, 1996. Was the day he asked me to be his girlfriend. Was the day that we made it official <laughs> in high school. She's been there from the beginning, you know, when we had nothing. I mean, we, we almost know, lived in our car. We almost lived in my dad's car for, for a night or two. The World Series obviously brought all of us together. We were all just so proud of him and I don't, can't believe I'm crying but we were all just so proud of him we were so excited because they hadn't ever gotten to this point all right all right enjoy Freddy all right, I gotta get you liquored up a little bit Here's the tonight's bittersweet because I have them all to myself but pretty soon I'll have to share them with the Giants Cheers. happy Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. I'm Barry Zito. Um, I'm a pitcher for the Giants, and uh, we were in the studio today, and we were laying down some tracks for a Showtime show. A one-time Cy Young Award winner in Oakland, Zito has struggled since coming across the bay. Just a bad vibe throughout this entire stadium. I think the universe, or God, or whatever you want to call it, will show you signs of things in life and it keeps reminding you until all of a sudden you've fallen on your ass which for me was last playoff he became the forgotten man last year left off the playoff rosters yeah. uh, not in the world series although he's getting paid all that money let's put that aside right he's had to really reinvent himself as yeah. a pitcher this is a guy that's always analyzing his mind's always going it's like well this isn't working you know you gotta try another way it's not all gone to shit it's not gone it's all still there there's just another way to access it they say do what got you here. What got me here was enjoying the game and having fun. So for me, this year is about being in the moment. It's been a great feeling uh, coming in spring training as a world champion. Oh, a buster! <laughs> and to be honest, uh, I had some concerns. Uh, I, I didn't know where my players would be, if they were tired from celebrating or... Uh, if they would be content uh, with just winning World Series. So the beard's still there, huh? Yeah, still rocking. Good. I know. Oh, and the Mohawks black. I love just walking in the clubhouse and seeing the players. The coach. And knowing the different characters and, and personalities and, and riding with them on a journey that goes for seven months. Ready? I think we had so many characters last year and we brought them all back. But it was smile. Got it. Thanks. Nothing worse than the fake smile, you know. <laughs> this is the hair of one of the 25 what? coolest athletes ever. According to GQ. GQ doesn't know what the hell we're talking about. If I'm gonna... <laughs> because he wears bow ties. He's a freak. He's really not that cool. At barely six feet tall and less than 170 pounds dripping wet, the 26-year-old Lincecum has already won two Cy Young Awards, headlining a pitching staff loaded with live arms and quirky characters. It's really eggs in here. Did I find it? 
start? I'm a pro baseball player in my 20s. I'm not just going to walk around monotone like a robot and then wake up and I'm 35, the game's over, and I've had zero fun. What I'm going to do with this just look natural as natural as you can. Willie, have you met Miguel Tejada? Back in the clubhouse, new giant shortstop Miguel Tejada gets introduced to baseball royalty. We should have had you a long time. The Say Hey Kid, who turns 80 in May, probably never stepped into one of these contraptions, which measures body fat percentage. Point two. Wow. So he did pretty good. Yeah, that was good. Coming off a breakout season, career minor leaguer Andres Torres spent the offseason in his native Puerto Rico, working out in rather unconventional fashion. 02 through 07, I couldn't make it to the majors. 07, I was out of the game. I don't want to go back. I, I, you know, I'm going to show people that I can play this game every day. To be a good athlete, all you need, like I said, you need heart. And you can fight whatever you want. If you work, you know, you can do a lot of stuff. The conditioning of Pablo Sandoval was perhaps the biggest story in Giants camp this spring. Two years ago, the Kung Fu Panda took the city by storm. Last year, he played his way out of the starting lineup. You know, last year he gained some weight that put him in a situation where he wasn't performing like he wanted to. Fastball, got him! I have to be honest, I just told him, Pablo, you need to take care of, you know, your body. Next year, you, you have to come ready. We, we've seen two different Pablos. We saw one of the best hitters in the game two years ago, and last year, he had a hiccup. We were brutally honest with him. From the weight standpoint and general conditioning, he, he needs to get religion. I guess the worst case, you could end up in the minor leagues. I've made a decision this year after talking with Savion, with Bocci, you know. You're a great player, but if you don't work it out, lose weight, you're going to lose you, your job. Set. Go. <laughs> I hate that man. Man. Go get him, Bobby. Go get him. I love Rachel. Keep that. 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 Tell me somewhere somebody who's working harder than you are right now. No. Huh? Okay. Then. MVP. While Sandoval tries to get back to yeah. those lofty heights, rookie Brandon Belt is trying to make the big league club after last season's meteoric rise through the minors. There's enough competition, or more so even change, where we're going to tweak the roster. The competition is going to be healthy. I'm going to get a lot of work in here, Billy Boy. Belt's going to take my job. I got a name for you. Brandon Belt, the Giants' big slugging, fast rising first base prospect. We're from a small town called Lufkin, Texas. It's very slow paced. This has just always been his dream forever since I've ever known him. And it kind of seems like it's happened fast, but then it's kind of been a long journey. You know, I don't know if I'm going to make the team out of spring training. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the, the team this year, but I couldn't be more excited about the opportunity I have right now. And if Brandon Belt is hitting the ball, is Huff ready to make a move to, to left field, to right field? How do you think you're going to make this club with Belt way he's hitting? I have to get my outfielders met. That's going to circle back to our biggest and toughest decision, which will be Belt. You know, I can control coming out here and playing my best every day. I can control having quality ABs. I can't control, you know, the decisions they make in the front office. His approach has been impressive. Who knows whether he's ready or not? I think just the way I grew up, I kind of, uh, you know, Expect the worst and hope for the best. It's, it's a tough call there. Yeah, I, I'm still on the fence. All right, don't be scared now out there. Let's 